Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Sessa here with a video here today. Bring guys the best free fonts for designers a uh, year, I'm almost at episode, year 2020, Q1. This is the first of probably like three or four we're gonna do at the, uh, throughout the actual year. It's basically where I take some new fonts, some new pickups of my own, and uh, showcase them to you guys. So, as always, uh, the actual files, or excuse me, fonts you guys see in the actual video will be a nice little download link in the description down below for those each individual fonts. There will also be a kind of like a full one pack or one bundle where all the fonts are basically in this one simple link. If you guys wanna go ahead and do that, route if you guys like them all at just one single shot you want them all and uh yeah overall hope you guys do enjoy today's video here today i think this is one of my favorite ones personally of course check out the playlist for more fonts and uh maybe like leave it in the comment section below like what you've been using recently share it around i mean if you don't want to i get it you're a designer you want to keep it a secret we get those things uh regardless love you guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and let's just get this thing going all right, guys, so first up is a font called Soul Maze. Now, this font is a super beautiful sans font with a cool modern, high-energy feel to it. I can see plenty of use cases for this font personally. It's actually one of the only fonts that I have at the moment that actually has its own outline version of it. I'm not sure if that's a common thing. If it is, whatever, but I'm pretty, it's freaking cool that this one has it. I can't tell you how many times I, of course, have to lower the opacity, put a stroke on, and make my nice little simple stroke to put like it in behind like a character or individual or whatever or something. I think it's a very, very cool font. Overall, a font I can definitely see a lot of you guys following for. So next up is a font known as Morganite. So this font I can see myself using a lot through this year as it is a completely free font that comes in multiple weights, which is a major plus. I know a lot of designers, including myself, that might struggle with finding how to place a larger character text in a smaller canvas space. However, with a font like this, one that is more vertically styled, it is very easy for the actual font to put and fit many characters in that actual space, which can help with like headings, magazine posters that have to have a lot of characters in it. And I just think totally every designer should have some kind of font like this and one like this as well, because it comes with 18 different like or something like 10 if 18 weights, which is like pretty massive for a font that you can use for, of course, free and personal use. Okay, so this next font is called Gasha Sands. It seems to have this really cool Russian-inspired vibe to it. I think the attention to each character having its own cool, unique, bold accent. I could see like this be used as a cool like heading text, or in the use case, like a cool side margin text going along the page, of course, from the bottom to the top. All in all, it's definitely a font that's worth grabbing, and I'm sure it could fit into a lot of you guys' projects along the way for sure. All right, guys, this next font is called Peace Sands. Now, this font I can already see being one of my most used for this year. The font itself is playfully bold with slight curves to the characters that give the font a serious vibe, but also like this really cool quirky and fun vibe as well. This font will probably be overused by me in the YouTube thumbnail scenes, and it, if, of course it fits the, the good thumbnail font criteria like to a T. I'd say if you ever wander in the YouTube thumbnail creations or even gaming headers or whatever that you kind of see where a fun font can be used, uh, this font will definitely probably be a best friend to you. All right, homie, so this next font is actually called Monument. So for me, this font here kind of speaks for itself. It's clean, it's bold, it has a really cool modernized vibe to it, and it is more of that stretchy kind of horizontal style where I would say the font itself is more commanding of its space. So it's more like a heading font. Overall, the font itself is super clean, it's sleek, and I just think it's one of those things you can, of course, have in your fonts, and it just won't be a problem. It's gonna definitely pop up, and you'll be like, oh, I can definitely use this. So for our last font for today, it is called New Machina. This font's project was a ball of inspiration for me personally. Uh, it had me think differently on the use case for the actual font. I'd say just as the project would suggest, gradients with this font by default will set a futuristic tep vibe like right from the start. Something where if you were looking to give like a different style another shot, this font can assist in a major way and probably do most of the work for you. Overall, the font definitely wasn't going to be slipping past me. Uh, just even the different unique choices of the inner like character cuts with the N, the A, like where it cuts off. All that stuff on its own pretty much had me at download. Uh, I would definitely suggest you guys, of course, download it, give it a shot. And if you guys are not entirely sure what the use case would be, let me give you a scenario. Black background, this font, space it kind of like a, a, a bit spacious. Have like one of the middle text or the subtext be a gradient. You got a tech vibe. Like, no joke. It's one of those kind of fonts, and I think it's super, super cool and to give it a shot. And all right, guys, that is the end of the video here today. As always, guys, the fonts that you guys see in this video, all the font downloads will be in the description down below for you, of course, you guys to, of course, download, enjoy, pick which ones you kind of want. Um, if you guys liked all of them, there will also be a pack of, like, all the fonts in one simple link. It'll be, like, all fonts in this download here kind of thing. Uh, please be, just kind of go ahead and just do that if you guys wish to do that as well. Um, hopefully, you guys all comment down what your favorite fonts you've been using lately are. Um, as we did that last video, it helped a lot of people a lot, actually. So let me pay, put you, like, your your favorite font that you're using right now in the actual comments and enjoy yourselves uh, with that being said guys i'll talk to you guys later set so hq out do not forget to keep smiling stay positive and stay freaking productive guys later and thank you so very much for all the support on this series as always talk to you guys soon later